Hello and welcome back to How to Build Software Without Coding. I'm Mr. Hackathon. I show you how to build software without coding. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a custom GPT that can connect to over 6,000 different applications. We are going to do this using a tool called Zapier. Zapier is an automation platform that allows you to connect a range of different applications together. You can see here, Adalo and Twitter. You can see here, Eventbrite and Luma. Uh, if we go to create a Zap. And zoom out a little bit. You can see I can connect to HubSpot. I can connect to Salesforce and lots of different uh, platforms with sales in their name. I can connect to Typeform, Type Dream, you name it. I can connect to a lot of different platforms. What we're going to do is start by hitting explore. And we're going to create a GPT. And in the GPT, we're going to first go to configure, go down, and just move this out of the way. We're going to go to create new action. And in that new action, we need some schema to actually create the connection. And to do that, we are going to go to get the schema right from here. So I'll put this URL in the description, but this is basically the uh, Zapier tutorial. They provide you with this link to add the schema. So you'll see when I go here, import from URL, it automatically puts the schema in. This is exactly how we want it. For the privacy policy, I'm just gonna throw it in my website. This won't be an issue because we're not publishing this or I'm not publishing this publicly. And so the next step we're going to do, we're going to have to give it instructions. So I'm actually going to go back. I am going to call this Google Calendar GPT because what I'm going to use this GPT for is to retrieve or find things in my Google Calendar events that are coming up, you name it, with natural language. And I'm going to say find events in your Google Calendar. But I just want to be specific about this part. This is going to connect to my personal Google Calendar. So this won't be a public application. Otherwise, people will just be able to query my own Google Calendar, which is which is not helpful to me. And so the next thing we are going to do is give it instructions, but they, Zapier have provided a template here for the instructions. So if we go down, we can actually copy and paste this template that they provide. So you can see it just gives it some rules. It gives it some instructions for custom uh, Zapier or Zapier custom actions. I don't actually need this Slack one. And so what it will actually do, it needs permission to, it needs permission to actually use your Google Calendar. And mine's, mine's connected already, so I don't think that will be an issue. But we can test it and see what actually comes up. Just double check. I'm going to say find an event in my calendar. Which might not actually work. I might have to specify. So you can see 
there is a connection already, so it's asking for permission to use Zapier. I'm going to only have to do this once, but I have to give it permission to use my Zapier account. So I'll give it, I've given it permission to use my Zapier account. And let's just see, and I actually want to go back. To the GPT builder. So I'm back on the GPT builder and I'm going to say find an event on my calendar. So what it's going to do is approximate, I think it's going to pro if we go back to the instructions, I think what it's going to do is try to get guess the start time and end time. So it might return something, it might not return something, let's just see. So it needs some more details. Find events on Monday. It says there's no events on Monday. I'm pretty sure I have something on Monday. So let's see a different query. Find events on Monday morning. So here I put an event on Monday morning. So we're going to just keep find events at Monday. Monday at 9 a.m. So this is interesting. What it has what is actually returned is I think this is Tuesday. I think this is events I have in my calendar calendar for Tuesday the seventh of November. So it's actually gone back in time. So if I special if, if I specify a date, let's see. Find events on Monday, the 20th of November. I think it would be the 20th. Yep. So I've attempted to apply a little bit of elbow grease and it was saying I don't have any events on Monday the 20th of November, but I do actually know I have an event and this is something to be weary of. Um, It is good that it's telling me to manually check it, but the whole point of creating a GPT to be able to check my calendar, 
to create notes and do all the stuff so that I don't have to manually do it. What Zapier have provided is a way for you to manage access and control the settings of that connection. I'll put the link in the description. But what we have here, if I jump back, what we have here is a way to manage your GPT actions. And without this connection, your GPT won't actually work. So if I wanted to add a new action and add HubSpot, and I wanted to find somewhere here, it says find a person. Well, let's just say fine company. Or fine contact, there it is. Let's just say fine contact. You have to connect your HubSpot account to Zapier, which is no issue. And then it will allow you to make that connection to find a contact through the GPT. Here, and I want to delete this. Here we've created an action to find events in my calendar. You can see um, the action is find an event. I've connected my calendar. I spe specified what calendar to actually search. And here's probably where it's failing um, because I'm having AI guess the field for start time before and guess the field for um, end time after and it seems like it's struggling to guess those fields so most likely if I specify um, if I specify it it will return the information that I want a lot easier this is how you connect over 6,000 applications to your GPT I personally think this best works for internal tools and personal applications and applications for your business. But I'm always trying to find ways of how you can use this beyond your internal company use cases. If you have any questions, please let me know or write in the comments section. This space is moving and changing very, very quickly. And I will attempt to produce videos and tutorials as quickly as I can.